Hello, my name is Josh and I'm a fourth year economics student here at Warwick University. So today I'm here to talk to you about international opportunities. So that's a variety of different things you can do as part of your degree or otherwise to get involved in opportunities at Warwick that are overseas. So this could be volunteering overseas or also studying overseas. So as a heads up, um, these are very much my experiences, things that I've learned and things that I've done. Um, I'll try and keep it quite broad and quite general but it will kind of have a spin of what I've done and things that I've experienced. So I'm going to talk about three main um, topics, and those three topics are Warwick in Africa, this Warwick Latch program, and also studying abroad. So I'm going to talk about all three, um, which again, the most courses have the opportunity to study abroad, while the other two volunteering projects, all undergraduate and postgraduate students at Warwick had the opportunity to apply for. So again, it's very open to any student about what your likes are and what you're interested in doing. So firstly, study abroad. So study abroad is the opportunity to take a year of your degree outside of Warwick. So as well as doing your main degree at Warwick, it gives you the opportunity to do some modules in a different country and also learn different courses that you might not necessarily get the chance to do while you're doing your normal degree at Warwick. So for, there's two kind of key ways you can do this. So you can integrate a year abroad into your degree. So what this might mean is that you have a four year degree and you will get a master's qualification. So you do all your years as normal, but one of those years you'll be taking modules that count towards your final degree overseas. There's also the option to do your degree with a year abroad that's not integrated. So this is the opportunity that I took up. So I did my first two years at Warwick, I then did a year overseas, and then came back to do my final bachelor's degree at Warwick. So in a sense, I did four years and got my bachelor's degree versus an integrated degree, which you can get your master's in four years. So again, there's kind of pros and cons to both of those. Um, hopefully I can talk about that a little bit, but I won't go into it in too much detail. I wanted to go to Canada. Um, I looked at the website, I saw a university called Queen's University, and just really looked excited to go there. It was perfect for what I wanted to do. So I wanted to travel, but also wanted to learn, as well as keep up my sport that I do, which is Taekwondo. And Queen's offered all of those. So I think in total, I had a choice of about 12 English speaking universities. Um, but again, if you have language skills such as French, Spanish, German, it does open a variety of options. Um, also, there's universities such as over in Asia, so Malaysia, Hong Kong, China. So again, variety of different options depending on where it is that you want to go study and what's best for deciding what you want to do. Um, so again, I'm very much open to how you decide you want to do it. Um, the only real restriction in place is that most degrees require you to have a 2-1 qualification. And there is also some degrees that don't allow for this. Another question I often get is, so why do a year abroad? Um, especially in the case of me, who I kind of did an extra year of studying to kind of get the same qualification and get my bachelor's degree. Well, for me, I built a lot of skills out of it. It meant that I could, you know, do some different courses to my degree that were slightly different. So for me, the case was that I had to do 50% of my year in economics, but 50% in whatever else I liked. So I did some history, I did some psychology, I did some French, I did some Spanish. Again, kind of mixing up my degree and doing courses that, again, I wouldn't have had the chance to do at Warwick. It also got kind of me more excited in certain courses. So I managed to do a master's course in development economics, which kind of really well prepared me for my final year back at Warwick and got me ready for my dissertation and writing things like that. Um, so there's kind of the academic side where I felt like I really improved um, and got ready for coming back to Warwick and getting ready for my final year. But also I think kind of the big thing for me was getting the opportunity to meet new people, go to a new place and experience completely different things. Um, going to Canada, seeing the kind of Canadian snow um, was a big, big plus for me. So if doing a year abroad as part of your degree is something that you sound interested in. Um, what you can do is that you often start looking into it in your second year. Some courses are different, some you will apply for before you start university. But for economics anyway, um, the way it worked for me was that I applied in my second year, um, about halfway through just before Christmas, um, applied for which university I wanted to go to, and then I kind of got allocated. I was lucky to get my first choice, some students got the second or third choice, and then you make an application to that university. So it's kind of a two-stage process. First, you get accepted by your department and then you send your application off to the foreign university. And I'll be honest as well. Um, I don't think I thought I would do a year abroad when I started my degree, but actually when I started my second year, I thought this sounds like a brilliant opportunity that I really wanted to get involved in. 
So the second project I'm here to talk to you about is Warwick in Africa. So Warwick in Africa is a project that's open to all university degrees at Warwick where you can go and teach maths and English to students in Tanzania, Ghana and South Africa. So it's a brilliant opportunity to try teaching if it's something that you're not sure of or want to do as a career. It also gives you that opportunity to build completely new skills and step right out of your comfort zone. Um, I absolutely love this project. It was one of the kind of the highlights of my degree. Um, so in my second year, what I decided is I applied and was lucky enough to get a place on the Morogoro team in Tanzania. So I went there for six weeks. Um, I taught at one of the schools, a class ranging up to about 50 to 60 students. Um, and we deliver lessons every day. So like I said, there was 50 to 60 students and you very much were on your own. You were in a frontless classroom. Um, your other volunteers were teaching other classes, um, in my case anyway and you were very much left to teach. It was quite an eye-opening experience. and It was quite daunting at first, but it's something that I kind of really got into, really enjoyed, and honestly, the memories I've got from it are absolutely incredible. Um, so again, I'll put some pictures up and hopefully you'll be able to see them now. So in the school, I taught mathematics to students aged between 14 to 16. Um, so we, what we did is we went through the syllabus that was the current plan with the current teacher, while the teacher covered one of the other lessons and classes. So in my case anyway, what happened was that the teachers, um, there weren't enough teachers for the school. So one group of classes didn't have a teacher at one period of the day. So it very much was the case that if I wasn't there, then the, the students wouldn't even have a teacher. Um, so it kind of felt very impactful in that way. Um, it meant that I could have a lot of freedom to kind of teach the syllabus, but also put a different spin on it. So what I usually did was taught the syllabus as usual, but then also had starter and um, activities at the end that were more engaging, more fun, and got the students passionate about mathematics. Um, again, like I said, it was an incredible project and I really enjoyed the teaching side of this. So in terms of the cost, with Warwick in Africa, you are set a fundraising target, so you have to raise £1,000. So it is quite a big daunting ask at first, but what you find is that once you do some fundraising, some bucket collection, asking family, friends, often you can get to the target quite easily. Um, so for me, I managed to raise quite a lot of money through bucket collections. So I went to Birmingham um, and raised about £300 in one day, which was fantastic. I got to talk to people about the project, what we were planning on doing, and there were some really, really generous people who helped us out. Um, and again, you learn lots about fundraising, how to do it successfully, free work in Africa so you can learn about it and then you can go out and hopefully raise the money. So like I said, I really would consider applying for work in Africa and getting involved in it in any part of your degree. Um, it's a really, really brilliant project that you should definitely consider. So the Work Latch program is the last program I'm going to talk to you about. It's a brilliant opportunity to go abroad as part of your degree and through different activities at Warwick. So the Warwick Latch program is very similar to Warwick in Africa in certain ways, but also quite different. So Warwick Latch program is based an hour south of New Delhi. So it's based on a farm and what they do is they have a teacher training school. So they recruit sort of 17, 18 year olds just out of the education system and they train them to be a teacher. And what they do is they would then go to local centers in the evening and provide like an after school learning club for a variety of students in the local villages. Um, so it's very, very impactful knowing that you're then taking on a role where you're training the teachers, you're helping to deliver them lessons and lesson plan with them, that they would then go on and build those skills so that they could become better teachers in those villages and provide better education to thousands of students. So again, with the Warwick Latch program, um, it's similar to Warwick in Africa. You have to fundraise £750. So again, um, Helen, who runs the project, um, is very, very helpful. She helped me with my fundraising and different ideas to go forward with that. But what I'd also say is that, you know, you, you kind of learn to, to fundraise. And for me, what I did is that I did the tutoring online. And as through tutoring online, the money that I made from that helped pay towards the fundraising target as well. So it was very much a, you can also do and pay kind of through your own ways if, if you want to. So while I talked about these international opportunities, what I thought it was also worth mentioning was that Warwick is a really, really nice place to study at. It isn't a case to these international opportunities to try and escape. So if you're an international student, what I'd say is that there's some brilliant cities nearby. 
Um, you're only an hour away from London. You could get the train down to Bristol as well quite easily. And you're very much in the middle of England so that you can get around and go see different places. You've also got Warwick Castle right on our doorstep. It's about a 45 minute journey away, which is perfect to go and see a bit of British history. Um, as well, like I said, I love volunteering at Warwick not just volunteering overseas there's some brilliant projects ranging from teaching at local schools one-to-one -one tutoring helping students reading helping refugees so if you're interested in the volunteer side i would definitely recommend getting involved in local volunteering projects too so overall i hope you found this video useful kind of me talking about the international opportunities through study abroad warwick in africa and the warwick latch program um, they're all fantastic things you can apply for at university and i would really really think about making the most of these. Um, there's also other projects and they also might be slightly different ones when you come to Warwick. So what I'd say is, you know, do your research, find out about it, and don't be afraid to get stuck in straight away from your first year in everything there is to offer at Warwick.